Here's a video I thought would be helpful. Try and figure out the difference between what in the heck a square yard is and a square foot and even a square inch versus a cubic foot or a cubic yard or a cubic inch. Now a square is a four-sided, equally sided object. And you can see here a square foot has one foot edges one foot on each side they got to be equal sides to be a square another thing they would need to have would be 90 degree corners square yard would be one yard by one yard and of course one yard by one yard a square a square is going to be a two-dimensional object that is going to be basically on a plane or a flat surface so let's go ahead and figure out some square footage here. We have a 10 foot by 12 foot um, rectangle. It would remember it to be a square. It would need to be, have equal sides, four foot by four foot. This is a square. This is a rectangle. But we can actually figure out square footage by creating little squares. So if we drew a line, one foot line, all the way across this side, and then a one foot line or a group of one foot lines all the way across on this side we would come up with a few squares so we would have one foot by one foot we would have 12 of them this way feel free to count them if you want 10 of them this way and if we multiplied 10 times 12 that would give us 120 there would be 120 individual square feet on this plane here. Remember, not cubic feet, square feet. 10 foot by 6 foot, 60 square feet. 6 times 3, 18, 18 square feet here. Remember, it is going to be on a plane, a flat surface. Our square feet, square inch, and square yard measurements are going to be on flat surfaces, and uh, they can be used for figuring out carpeting, flooring, roofing, anything that is going to be applied to a flat surface. So we have a square, as I described. Now we have a cube. A cube would have another surface on it. And I want to say this is a two-dimensional object. This is a three-dimensional object, but I don't really think that's going to matter in our explanation. We will be coming down an extra increment. So if this is a one-foot cube it's going to be one foot by one foot and of course this would be one foot by one foot except this time we're going to be going down one foot and creating a um, what would this have nine sides three no it wouldn't it would have three and then three six-sided object that would have equal surfaces or equal size surfaces so we have a Rubik's Cube. I guess we can go with that. Huh? A lot of people know what a Rubik's Cube is. And if I had a measurement that was 6 foot by 3 foot, remember we had 18 square feet in the other, um, for the square feet in our other example. Here we have it over here. But if we're going to make it into 18 cubic feet, we're going to need to come down another foot here. So this gives us a good example of what a surface area of square feet, 6 times 3. This would be square feet. This is what it would look like if we turned it into cubic feet. Now let's go ahead and break square yards down to uh, square feet and square inches. If we have one square yard, one yard is a three foot measurement, three foot, 36 inches. If we break it down into square feet, we are going to have nine, nine squares in here. So this would be three times three equals nine. That would give us one foot um, by one foot squares. This is the surface area. If we were to convert the yards to feet, now, I didn't break this down for the yards, but the if we are going to go to a square foot and break it down into inches, one inch, we are going to have 12 inches on each side. 
12 times 12 is going to give us 144. You would have 144 square inches in a square foot. And of course, remember, that's going to be on a single plane, um, not a three-dimensional object. Now here's a three-dimensional object, and it is one yard by one yard, or three individual feet by three individual feet. And of course, I only went down a foot. This is not a cube. This is not an equally sided object. We have one yard and one foot. This is not going to be a cube, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea. If we have this shape um, and we only go down a foot, we're going to have nine cubic feet. Now, in a cube, we uh, cubic yard, you're going to have 27. This would be one row we just looked at, this one here, but we would have three of them. That would give us nine times three, which would be 27. There's 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. Now, I just kind of want to throw out some measurements here. One square yard equals nine square feet. Remember, this is a square, not a cube. We have nine square squares that are one foot by one foot in one square yard. Three times three equals nine. You're simply going to be multiplying the increments, which we would have three, one, two, three times the three here. And to find a cube, you would just multiply the increments going this way. One cubic yard, 27 cubic feet, would be three feet times three feet times three feet equals 27 feet. Three feet times three feet gives us a square yard, or the footage for how many feet would be in a square yard. And if you're, we're looking for the cubic feet in a square yard, we would simply multiply it another time. Uh, one square foot equals 144 square inches. That would be 12 inches. Instead of three, we would have 12 segments or sections, 12 sections this way. 12 times 12 is 144. If I was looking for 100 in cube, uh, for one cubic foot, and I was going to break it down into cubic inches, then I would multiply it again because we would have 12, 12, and 12. And again, that's breaking a cubic foot down into inches. One square yard equals 1,296 square inches. We would just take nine feet, which would be the nine individual squares, and multiply them by what we figured out one square foot would be in inches, and that would give us our square inches for that. If we were looking for cubic inches, we would multiply it three times. Remember, 12 times 12 times 12 um, is 1,728. Oh, this was for the cubic inches here. I'm sorry. One cubic yard, if we're going to break it down into inches, we would need to multiply it by 36 by 36 by 36. A cubic yard would have 36 inches on each corner here, each side. And then we'd go back 36 inches, 36 inches. Or we can take it, the formula, and we know that there's 27 cubic feet. And we can multiply 27 cubic feet by the amount of cubic inches. And here we have the cubic inches. One foot, which there would be 27 cubic feet in a cubic yard. And then if we take the inches, simply multiply it by that, we should get the same measurement. So anyway, that's it for this video. I am going to make a few more videos and I'll put a link here at the end on how to figure